lollipops, robots, and Microsoft's answer to the gear fit. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geeky. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by lynda.com. Okay, guys, stop what you're doing. Hey, I'm about to ruin the image and the sound you're used to. <laughs> we run contests and give away a bunch of stuff. A new car! We know that, but we don't always get to give the stuff away to our international viewers because of shipping costs and hassle and all that stuff. Well, today, that changes because Damson Audio said they want to give away five pairs of the Jet Bluetooth speakers, and they love our international viewers. So they opened it up to everyone. You can enter every day and get multiple entries for doing different things, like following them on Twitter or Facebook. Just go to geekme.tv slash giveaways for the details. Microsoft has come out with their very own fitness band slash smartwatch, semi-smartwatch thing. It's called the Microsoft Band, and it uses Microsoft Health as the software and app controls. It'll track your heart rate, sleep, UV, UV rays, try saying that, I don't know how to say words, your running patterns using GPS, and it wants to act as your personal trainer with specific workouts to help you become a better person at least while you're working out. On the watch front, it'll display your incoming calls and text messages. It's available now for $199, but I'm not sure that it does anything more than any other activity tracker slash smartwatch, and that's a premium price compared to others on the market. So I am looking forward to hearing a little bit more, but it does work with iPhone, Android, or Windows phone, so there's that. And maybe it includes the blue screen of death. Who knows? That'd be funny. You go, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's... Uh, Dang, it's oh like reboot. reboot. <laughs> <laughs> on the yummy front, Lollipop is coming to an Android device near you on November 3rd. That's great news for developers who will no longer have to worry about authoring different versions of the same app for Android-powered phones, tablets, wearables, and other stuff, and cars even. But beyond that, what does Lollipop, or Android 5.0 if you prefer the boring name, mean to you and me? Well, Google says to expect better ca camera capabilities. Well, Google, I'm just gonna redo that, Dave. Google says to expect better camera capabilities as well as better sound. And what I'm looking forward to, more battery efficient apps. Yay, I hate losing battery because you know I never charge anything. Speaking of apps, would you like better in-app Twitter integration? Well, ready or not, here it comes. Twitter just unveiled an SDK called Fabric that promises to allow app developers to access content streams from Twitter as well as access the sign-on systems. So before this, it's been a bit of a nightmare for app authors to integrate Twitter into their apps in a seamless fashion. Fabric was built off of two recent Twitter acquisitions called Mopub and Crashylytics. So if you start noticing your tweet streams that are following you around in your other apps, you'll know what's working. You can say Crashylytics, but you can't say UV. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. I should learn how to talk. You can learn to create your own apps easily and on your own time at lynda.com slash geekbeat. They will teach you anything and everything from app development to 3D modeling, build your IT career, or learn marketing or business. It's all there. And you get seven days for free when you go to lynda.com slash geekbeat. Okay, but enough about apps. Let's move on to my favorite thing, robots. Robots that drink coffee? No, I don't have any of those today. But we do have some other cool stuff. A three-year-old startup called Gravit has created a robot that uses static electricity to grab and move objects. See the little flexible fingers? Well, it can handle boxes, iPads, fruits, whatever. I mean, think about it. When static electricity affects your hair, for example, it's pretty strong. It's got gusto, if you will. So they've harnessed that power into this robot. Super cool stuff. Just please stay away from my hair. Being able to pick up a remote object is one thing, but feeling it from a distance is another, and that's where Dexmo comes in. This exoskeleton for your hand is designed to allow you to feel an object being picked up from a safe distance by a robot. Like, for example, a suspected bomb, for instance. If you're interested in any use case, they're trying to raise $200,000 via Kickstarter. Geekbeat.tv slash 925 for the link. All right, well, I am off to go play with some robots and maybe get some coffee and maybe figure out how the two can join forces. <laughs> Who's with me? Talk to me, chat room, geekbeat.tv slash live. It's going 24 seven. I'm not necessarily in there 24 seven, but if I have enough robots and coffee, I might be. 
Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. Bye. We're going to show you the best way to set up your office desk. Oh, yeah, come on. There was like a follow follow me mode. Like after I lifted it up, it said follow me. Absolutely. Mac Kevin wants to know, how do we prepare for our live show on Fridays?